All right, guys, so uh, we got a bit of a shock poll here for you. New poll shows Biden cutting into Trump's lead by winning back some of his 2020 voters. Wow. So this is a New York Times Siena college poll, and uh, this is viewed as one of like the gold standards standards of polling. Trump now leads Biden 46 to 45, so one point difference, a statistical tie because it's plus or minus more than just one among registered voters, a decline from February's 48 to 43 lead. So Trump had a lead 48 to 43. Now it's down to a one-point lead. Biden is winning over more of his 2020 supporters and boasts leads with women and suburbanites. More on that in a second. President Joe Biden gained ground on former President Trump in the latest New York times Siena College poll, cutting into a persistent lead that the ex-president has held for months. Last month, both Biden and Trump secured enough delegates to become the presumptive nominees ahead of their party's conventions in the November elections. And Biden, who has so far struggled to rally young voters and minorities around his re-election bid, has seemingly clawed back some of his 2020 support in that time. So 46 to 45, it is. It's tightening from 48 to 43. In the February poll, the poll showed that Biden is now winning 89% of his 2020 backers, an increase from February when 83% of the incumbent's 2020 supporters said they vote for him again in November. In the survey, 94% of Trump's 2020 supporters said they'd vote for him again, a slight decline from the 90%, 97% of 2020 backers who in February indicated they'd cast a ballot for him in the fall. So that's interesting. He had a little bit of a drop. Still more than Biden, but a little bit of a drop. Despite Biden's 38% job approval rating, he boasted sizable leads with female voters, 53 to 37%. Uh, voters aged 65 and older, 51% to 42%. That's actually shocking. For a Democrat to lead a Republican by that much among the elderly, usually the elderly or ironclad Republican demographic. Black voters, 69% to 16%. That's actually not a great lead for Biden among black voters. It should be like 85, 90% or something like that, maybe even 95. And suburban voters, 51 to 40. So Biden is winning suburban voters, 51 to 40. That's another demographic that in theory should cut a little more pro-Republican. Meanwhile, Trump held advantages with men, 57 to 37. Rural voters, rural voters, hard to say those words. 62 to 29, voters age 45 to 64, 52% to 43%, and white non-college graduates, 62% to 30%. So those are the demographics that are best for Biden and best for Trump, respectively. Trump benefits from having stronger numbers on the economy, 64% approved of him, him on the issue, and immigration, 50% approved of his handling of the issue. Despite low unemployment and a strong jobs market, 63% of respondents disapproved of Biden's handling of the economy, an issue... That is perhaps the most serious threat to his re-election bid. In recent weeks, Biden has ramped up his campaign schedule, appearing in Arizona, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. He is seeking to tout his administration's record and boost his visibility more, blah, 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 blah. Abortion rights, where was it? Abortion rights, which, always po which was always poised to be a major issue this year, has taken on greater urgency in Arizona, where the state's conservative Supreme Court upheld an 1864 law, which is a total ban, no exception for even rape and incest. Biden, along with Kamala Harris, are running hard on abortion and continue to point to Trump's appointment of anti-abortion conservatives on the U.S. Supreme Court as the reason why Roe v. Wade was struck down, which has subsequent, subsequently created a patchwork of abortion laws across the country. So look, the fact of the matter is this. This is a close fucking race, man. This is a close race. And now in the average, it's almost a dead tie in the average. Um, and there's so many... Th if you want to read the tea leaves, there are so many fucking takeaways you can have from it, it's ridiculous. Biden has some tremendous weaknesses. Arab Americans and Muslim Americans in crucial swing states are abandoning him at a record speed, right? He was at over 60% support with that group. Now he's under 17% support. I mean, that's devastating. Latino Americans, Biden had a huge lead. Now Trump is actually winning, at least in some polls. Young Americans, Biden should have a gigantic lead. He doesn't as much as he should, right? But then at the same time, in all of the uh, Republican primary polls, Trump's support was overstated in the polls by 7 to 10 percentage points in every primary. So in other words, it's like the opposite of the 2016 effect. In 2016, whatever the poll showed for Trump, he outperformed them by like 2 to 4 points. Now, whatever the poll showed for Trump, he's underperforming them by 7 to 10 points. So there's this weird dynamic, too, on, on the Democratic side where when you ask people, hey, what do you think of Joe Biden? They're like, eh. But then a lot of those people, when push comes to shove, they just like, I'm going to just vote for him because I want to fucking defeat Trump, right? Trump also has the giant, giant legal issues, which I think are actually impacting him. 
abortion is a huge problem for the huge problem for the Republicans. And Trump knows this. He's trying to remedy it. It's not working. Um, and the legal stuff, I mean, I actually think that's impacting him with the electorate in the general election. And so, again, it's real, real race to the bottom type stuff. It really is. And you're seeing the polls dead tied. Look, guys, in a world that made sense, the Democrats would be less idiotic and you'd be blowing Trump out of the water by 15 points. You'd be up in every single swing state. Instead, and there's another fact I should bring up, Trump is up in six of the seven swing states. So if you want to read the tea leaves, you could be reading them all fucking day. You could find, if you want to find a strong argument for Biden in the tea leaves, you can find it. You want to find a strong argument for Trump in the tea leaves, you can find it. And anybody telling you otherwise is not telling you the truth. Because this stuff is, uh, with this recent Biden surge, it's, uh, it's, it's dead close, man. It's dead close. And the other thing is, well, why? Why, why is it getting tighter? My best theory is that Biden has really started hitting Republicans hard on abortion stuff and on their extremism. And that's a message that really worked. In every election post-2016, it's worked to be like, these guys are extremists, these guys are psychos, you can't trust them with power, and oh yeah, they're against the right to choose, and they want to take you back to a dystopian hellscape where women have no rights and can't control their bodies. And these arguments are landing to one extent or another. Uh, and then final thing I'll point out is this. This is actually... This, this is a pretty big deal. So among suburban women... Among suburban women in the swing states of Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and Arizona, 39% say abortion is their main issue. No other issue is even close. They're about equally likely to say Biden is too pro-choice and that he's too pro-life. They're about equally likely to say Biden is too pro-choice and that he's too pro-life. Many are to the left of the Democrats on that issue. This will bury the GOP. Suburban women could cut massively against Republicans in this election and hand it over to Biden. Despite all of the horrible things, you know, we've been through it. We don't need to go through it again. But just Gaza alone right? The aiding and abetting a genocide and an ethnic cleansing. All that stuff matters deeply to people who care about humanity and are following this stuff, right? Fact of the matter is, a lot of these suburban women, many of them I'm sure are following it, but many are not, and they go, all I really give a shit about, my number one issue by a mile is abortion. And that could really, really hurt Trump massively. And so, we'll see, but, uh, Flip a fucking coin is what I have to say to you at this point. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.